Well, hello there. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And thank you for being here with us today. Yes. Um, this episode is one that we do just once a month and mm -hmm. it's for a very important person. Yes. It is for Sparkles, who just happens to be our diamond level Massey Posse Patreon. Yes. At the diamond level, Sparkles gets to choose the colours and the technique for one episode a month. And then she gets to choose one of the two canvases that we paint. And she gets that one sent to her for the price of her patronage. Yes. So thank you so very much, Sparkles. This episode, she's chosen all things bright and beautiful. Yes, very neon -y. And she actually sent us some colours to use this time as yes. well, um, because I don't think our colour choices have been quite as bright as she really wanted. So we got in the mail an Artist Loft fluorescent pack and a Liquitex Basics neon fluorescent pack. Yes. And we've added them to some colours to come up with some bright and bold, red, yellow, green, violet and orange yes. kind of color palette and just like you've seen a lot of people do i'm going to be using a marble just like fiona and mina and jilly and everyone else before us so i'm going to marble pour nice. and you're going to do a brand new pour yes which is going to be called what i think i named it what did i name it the shake and bake, shake and bake. <laughs> <laughs> remember what he named it. Oh, look, I've got a really fun little like thing. I know, we have lights there. going yeah, on now. Awesome. Disco lights. Um, so this is the shake and bake technique. It's basically like, you know, throwing paint on a canvas. Pretty much. A little bit Callum Schaub style, if you know who that yeah. guy is. Um, but it's going to be a really fun one. And these are really bright colours, so it's just going to be a really fun, happy painting. It is. Sparkles, this one is for you. Um, and as we said at the beginning, you're going to get to choose one of these two paintings. So... Without further ado, let's get to the table. Yes. Let's get painting. Ladles and jelly spoons, welcome to the table. It is Lee. And um, as we'd already mentioned, this is a very special pour. Patreon Sparkles, who's our only diamond pourer, gets to choose the colors and the technique for this one episode. And then she gets to choose one of these two canvases. So um, let me introduce you to the colors that she's chosen. And if you see this little marble on the canvas, you'll probably already guess what the technique is. But here are the colors. Sparkles sent us a little pack of these fluorescent Liquitex Basic colors. So I've mixed the fluorescent orange with Artist Loft orange. I've mixed the fluorescent green with, Art, with Artist Loft light green. I've mixed the fluorescent yellow with a colour that she also sent us, which is this Arteza Deep Yellow. Now you can see the difference in those two colours. This is a very orangey yellow, but when I mixed it with the fluorescent, it did turn very sunshiny. It did, very, yeah. I was just thinking that. Sunshiny, sunshiny. Yeah. yeah. So red is a hard one to get a really good fluorescent bright colour, unless it's primary red. So I mixed the fluorescent red and the fluorescent pink together with some cadmium red light hue and that's given us a really bright red. Now, we've also got turquoise blue in this mix. Yes. We mixed this other pack of colors that she also sent us, which was Artist Loft Neons. So we mixed the neon violet with the gray purple because Sparkles wanted a purple, but she didn't want it dioxazine. She didn't want it to be a dark purple. So those two colors have given this, which is almost the same as the glove. It's yeah. kind of like a really light purple. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Thank you. Um, we also have here a really one. Oh, no, I told you about this one. This was the green. green. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. The last one is the silver. So this is acrylic silver. And then I also have white. So I'm going to tackle a marble pour, which is a puddle pour, puddling the paints onto the canvas and then using the marble to wreck those puddles to create a really interesting composition. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, let me start by pouring these puddles. Now, this paint is a decent consistency. It is about 50 to 55% Floetrol with 20 
20% of that gloss medium and then 25% of this being paint. So it's a nice thick consistency, however, it doesn't mound. It's kind of, it's mounding a little and then it's disappearing straight away because that's the kind of consistency that you need to do puddles. It needs to have a little bit of body to it, otherwise it'll just flop all over the canvas. And this is an 11 by 14 inch canvas, which has been taped and it's been pinned so that it's nice and clean on the back. And I'm going to do five puddles on this canvas. Now, I'm not gonna to need tons and tons of paint. And it's an 11 by 14, so I won't even get tons of paint on here, but this is where we're going. You get excited with your paint though. I, I you know, who, who doesn't? <laughs> you tell me a fluid artist that doesn't like being greedy with their paints, you know? I think it would be very difficult to find someone on, the, on any of our channels that right. we follow who's like, hmm, I think I'm done with this paint. No, everyone's like, more, more paint. Well, it is a wonderful, balmy Texas afternoon today. And by that, Jeremy means that he's already melting <laughs> over here. <laughs> He's already gone through at least two of his t-shirts today, but one of those like, was when he was at the gym. I'm like gelato in uh, Texas weather. I just melt. We were just talking about this. The funny thing is that before we moved here, Jeremy was like, oh, when we get to Texas, you're going to think it's really hot and you're going to really hate the summers and you're going to hate the humidity. And listen, it's not really summer just yet. I know it's going to get a heck of a lot hotter, oh, yeah. but I'm half Spanish, like Spain Spanish. And, and so I always say I'm solar powered. Like the, the sun is what gets me excited. Like I could literally bake in like, you know, 120 degrees heat of like Palm Springs and just be in my element. Now, don't get me wrong. There is definitely some humidity here for sure, but I'm not hating it. I actually walk outside the house to go and like stand in the garden to warm up because Jeremy's got the air conditioner on on like a constant 68 degrees. So I have to walk outside just to like warm my bones up. <laughs> Right? True. Right? <laughs> but um, I know that you definitely... See, I love winter. I love getting bundled up in sweaters and jackets and scarves and... You know, and I do too. You know, coming from the UK, we would go to, you know, we would go out for drinks in the pubs and they'd have roaring log fires and, you know, you'd sit drinking and eating and laughing and Christmas was always a, run, a really fun time for me. I love that romanticism of you know, the cold weather and wearing scarves and getting all bundled up and stuff. I just don't like snow. That's just like a step too far for me. Oh, I love snow. Really? Oh, I do. And I fell in love with snow when I moved to Chicago. It was like this beautiful, like 50 cent piece kind of snowflakes that would come down, like these huge snowflakes. It was so pretty. I loved it. That's, that's kind of a little crazy to me. I've actually never been in real snow. Like I've never been on a, on a skiing holiday or I've never been snowboarding or anything like that. So I don't really know what real snow is like. And in England, we get a sprinkling, you know, like it's a little bit of snow and then the whole country shuts down. So I don't uh, really know Chicago, what- Chicago, like, I mean, it is snow. Yeah, you get like, three, four feet of it, right? Oh yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll dump like, you know, a good eight inches at a time, if not more. Mind you, that's what happened here in Texas this year. You know? Oh yeah. Then they have that like freak snowstorm that comes here every like 10 or 15 years. So, you know, you never know. This winter might happen again. Oh, I doubt it. Thing. But it'll it'll probably be a, a really pretty winter here, though. I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. It like, is. Like, absolutely, I love Christmas. But, um, yeah, the snow, could do without. All right, people. So, you just saw me puddle all of these wonderful bright colors on this canvas. And I'm gonna say this again. These are sparkles as choice of colors. I'm just gonna surround this with some white paint because we're gonna 
pour this marble on here and get these puddles wrecked. These are definitely a lot more bright than, than we would normally pick. Is that fair to say, Jeremy? No, I mean, I like bright colors. You do? And then yeah. you pick like purples, browns, and blues. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always wearing a gray t-shirt. <laughs> Everyone always laughs at that at home. Okay, so surrounded my puddles now with some white and I've got my marble. This is the medium size marble. Um, so it's, it's, it's a decent size because I'm gonna wreck these puddles. And I'm gonna try not to tip the paint off the canvas, but it is only an 11 by 14, like I said. So it's gonna be maybe a little difficult, but we're gonna give this a go and see what happens. So this is probably one of two tilts. So this is marble tilting time. Let's wreck these puddles. Tilting time. I'm not gonna wreck this one quite that much more. I mean, the thing I'm thinking about this canvas is it's not a huge canvas. It's only 11 by 14. So, um, you know, there's, there doesn't need to be a heck of a lot of wrecks on this one. I think you're right good. Yeah, I think, I think I'm kind of done, actually. I'm gonna go off this edge. Pop. There we go. So, sparkles, that is, Tilt number one, so that was using the marble to wreck the puddles to create an interesting composition. Now what we're gonna do is tilt number two. And what I'm really doing here now is just stretching and just covering the canvas and trying to get as much of this color all over this canvas as possible. So Jeremy, yes, it's tilting time. It is tilting time. Let's do this. So there you have it, Sparkles. 
This one was for you, my love. You picked the marble technique and you picked the colors. Um, there's a bit of everything on here. I don't think I lost any of the colors. I can still even see the silver. And I actually liked keeping some of the white, which was intentional. But um, every single color is represented. I love the, the yellow, orange, and red combination. It's yeah. really pretty. So I am going to do this. I'm going to torch it off real quick. Just pop any of those bubbles. And then I'm going to get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Thank you, Sparkles, for allowing us to play with some really bright colors. Okay, lovely peoples, it is Jeremy here, and as you can see, I have my cups laid out in front of me, and what I'm going to do today What is, are you going to do today? I'm going to call it a shake and bake. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pour some paint in my cups, I'm going to layer my cups, and then I'm going to shake it out onto the canvas and then stretch it out. Okay, cool. So, yes. I love just, that. And then the, the baking comes when I torch it. Okay. <laughs> shake it and bake it. That's awesome. So, um... We, we, uh, Lee already introduced you to the colors. I did. So I'm going to get to flooding my canvas and get to painting. Would you do me a favor? Yes. Would you put your colors in your pots exactly as they are right now and then everyone can see you do that and then you can flood and then you can shake and bake? Okay, That sure. would be very helpful. Of course. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I apologize for messing up your order. No, that's okay. You just totally threw me off. <laughs> the no, I'm kidding. Whatever. No, I'm kidding. All right. Yes, let's go ahead and layer these cups. I saying about you getting greedy with your colors mm -hmm. okay so very carefully I'm gonna put these to the side now you're gonna flood your canvas now I'm gonna flood my canvas. now a warning yeah no way okay everybody so my canvas is flooded now I'm gonna do this whole shake experiment here right. on the canvas before the bake before the bake so i'm going to just shake this color right on here i'm going to kind of go like this and a double kind of shake motion and let's see what happens okay that was a little bit more than a double shake motion i was i think that was a, a quadruple shake but i like it Ooh. It's funny that red really came out and considering it was, but it was the, the thing you put on the top yeah go back over the reds yeah ah. Ooh, that was a really cool ribbon 
More, yeah. more of them, more of them. W want more of that? Yeah. It's like not coming. Here it is. see how that goes okay that's super cool it's interesting yeah. it's kind of like a flip cup and yeah hmm interesting yeah we're gonna see how this goes so is it tilting time it is tilting time let's tilt this out Okay guys, so I'm I made two more cups here, pour two more cups. I'm gonna pour a little bit over this white right here and I'm gonna kind of go over this like, there's too much orange in this area, I feel like red and orange. So I'm kind of gonna go through this, but let's see what happens. interesting you've Better, definitely right? added some interest now okay is it tilting time it's tilting time part two I like that a little bit better Okay, do you still like the white blob you've got on there? Yeah, no, the white's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But I like what's happening with a lot of the ribbons and stuff in it. I love the ribbons a lot. It's very Callum Schaub, if you know that guy. He's the guy oh, yeah. that, you know, spins there and then just, yeah. does, you know, does the ninja swipes and stuff on his paintings, but I like it. Is it time to bake this one? Yes, it is time to bake. I did the shake, now it's time to bake. There's a lot of cells popping up. There was a lot of cells. It's because you've layered those colors in that cup and then threw them on the canvas. So no, yeah. it's fun. That, that green and the purple is coming up in between each other. Yeah, that's pretty. What do you think? I'm actually liking it a lot. I do. I, lo I love the lines of blue you've got in the green and the yellow and red yeah. together. It's I interesting. Like this little corner right here. Yeah, there's a lot of interest right actually. Like All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. What did you think? <laughs> what did you think? Um, bright, bright, bright. That's all I think about these ones. Yeah. Sparkles pick some really wonderful, very bright, fluorescent neon colors. Yeah. Not colors that we would normally use. It's one of the fun things about doing these pours. But I love bright, so. I do too. You say that every time and then he wears a gray t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> which everyone, everyone in the comments laughs at. Um, uh, what did you think of your shake and bake? Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Right. Um, it was just something kind of crazy and new and just Silly. that I thought that I would just try out. Um, it's 
I thought it came out actually pretty good, honestly. Um, I actually like it. It's not something that I dislike. Uh, yeah, but it was just something fun. What like I, What I really loved was when you went back over it and when you created yeah. the ribbons yeah. with the kind of the little leftovers that were left in the cup because it was the ribbons for me that really made that really I agree. interesting. And I'm I so agree. glad you added those two extra cups at the end. Yeah. Otherwise, it was just very, like, blocky. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. no, I really, really enjoyed I it. I agree. Um, I loved my marble. Um, it's such a fun technique. It's one it that is. you can mess up. It looks so easy, just like some of the other techniques. But you actually, if you don't put enough puddles down, yeah. if your paint is too thick, if your marble's too small, if you tilt it too much, <laughs> there's a million things that you can do with that technique to really yeah. get it wrong. Um, but I think that I managed to do all of those things to a certain level of success. Um, so I yeah. thought yours came out great. Thank you. I really loved it. Um, it was it was a heck of a lot of fun. Um, so sparkles over to you, my love. Yes. Um, at some point, either in the chat here in the premiere, or you know, you know where we are. Drop us an email, or we've even got a WhatsApp group between all of the gold level pourers and above. Mm. You just need to let us know which one of those two that you want, and one of them will be winging its way right to you. So um, this is our Friday premiere. Yes. On Sunday, it's going to be Independence Day. Um, I know. And I know that there is a parade, which is a, a pour in back to back to back to back from about seven or eight artists. Oh, that wow. Is actually happening on Sunday. I know Mina's part of it, Kathleen, Sarah Mack, yeah. Cos. Uh, yeah. Kathleen, uh, Cos Creations is there. Did I always say Kathleen? Yeah. I think I said Kathleen twice. So, so we love her so much, we said her twice. Um, and then there's a whole heap of other really fun artists in there yeah. too. So please, please, please do catch that. However, we will have a, just a normal episode at some point during the day on Sunday. We'll yeah. let you know when that's gonna be. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great Independence Day weekend. Have fun whatever you get up to. And uh, we'll see you back here on Sunday. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye guys. Bye. So we wanna take a moment to spank Spank. <laughs> Spanks are very special. <laughs> nice. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So we have some awesome people that we'd like to take a moment to thank. And that is at the gold level, we have Janice Swansea, we have Jane Klein, we have Trisha West and Donna Patterson. We have Gloria Salaki, we have Nate Bright, Linda Serian, and Amy Gardner, who you all know as Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes, that's right. And on our platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver and Janice Pittman. And our one and only diamond level Massey Posse is Sparkles. Yay! AKA Laurie Finza. And We'd really love to say, we appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. And everyone else that's listed down here below, yes. thank you so much for being a Patreon. Absolutely. We really genuinely appreciate you. Thank you so very much.